A lot of people get really worried about the brake and um, power steering situation on their common swaps or any sort of swaps, okay? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to spell it out for you guys real quick here. You've got two types of braking systems. You've got hydro boost brakes and you've got vacuum boosted brakes, okay? So if you have a vacuum boosted vehicle that you're putting a 12 valve in, that booster needs to be getting vacuumed. Now, on 12 valves, on at least on the VE style um, ones, the earlier ones, between the power steering pump and the timing cover, there's a vacuum pump with a nipple on it. It's like a 3 8 nipple. You run a hose straight from there to your vacuum booster and you're done. That's, that's, that's all you do for that. And then you run your power steering lines straight to your factory steering box. No problem. Now, the problem you may encounter is the fittings might be different. Sometimes they are. GM and Chevy, or sorry, GM, Chevy, and Dodge switched around between multiple fittings. So you may have to get your local hydraulic shop to build you a hose. You take them both sides. You say, listen, I need this side on this side and that side on this side and get them to build you the hose you need. Not a big deal. Now, if you have hydro boost brakes, very simple. You're gonna run a pressure line from your power steering pump to your hydro booster. And then you're gonna run a pressure line from your hydro boost to your steering box. And then you're gonna run a return line from your steering box to the power steering pump and a return line from the, from the hydro boost to the, the power steering pump. And you're just gonna tee those two lines together and put them in um, to the uh, power steering pump. Guys get so confused about that. Oh, I only have one, I only have one return nipple on the power steering pump. No problem. Just tee into the line, make, so two lines into one and put it on there. No problem. Hopefully that helps you guys out and uh, helps people get a little bit more courage to start their swap. I have tons and tons of content on how to do this properly and make it, it's actually not that hard. So if that helps you out, please leave a comment and share this with your buddies and uh, yeah, keep swapping stuff.